All right, we've got our first rack created in Netbox. Let's start adding devices, right? Well, not so fast. So let's come back here right where we left off. We've got our site, which is Newport Charter. I'm gonna click on that and I can see my one rack at Newport, which is the MDF rack one we created in the last video. Click on that, our 42U rack is sitting right there waiting for devices to be added. So I go, ah, let's add our first device because we've got our image, right? We can click on that and see, okay, right, you know, right up at the top. Uh, I, I see that, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to see right there, but I can, it looks like I've got a, uh, a, a switch or a patch panel. We'll, we'll have to, we'll zoom in on the, that uh, a little bit more later, but, but I'm, I'm either way, I want to add my device to it, right? So I'm going to go up here, click on the 42U top unit. And the first thing that I see is device role. It's a required field. I can't add this until I add a role in there. So I go, okay, well, let's head over here and, and hit the device roles. What is this? Very simple configuration screen. This is where you begin to categorize your devices. And again, this is where your strategy will come into play and, and how you see your different devices. You might come in here and say, okay, I'm gonna have a role of firewall, a role of server, a role of cable manager, a role of patch panel, a role of switch, or, or maybe you say, I wanna have a role of core switch and distribution switch and access switch because you're using the Cisco three-tier design model for how you design your... So, so this is where you really have to think about it because not only is this going to, to allow you to color code your rack, which is great. It's kind of like a bonus. It's like, okay, I want to see all access switches uh, as, as uh, in, you know, choose your color of the rainbow, right? I want to have them all aqua, you know, or, or whatever. So that when you add them to that rack, that image will actually populate with the color of device that it is. And it sounds trivial, but it's not. It's, it's very nice to be able to look in there and be like, ah, okay. But that's, that's kind of a, a novelty. It's like, okay, that's nice visually speaking. But more important, this allows you to categorize your different devices, right? <laughs> Anytime, excuse me, you categorize your devices, you now have a filter criteria to help pull them up quickly. Let me show you an example right here. I actually uh, just grabbed, somebody has uh, their, their Netbox instance uh, public on the internet. So I, I uh, grabbed this from them. This is uh, at, at ritsecclub.club is their Netbox instance. You can see these are the different roles that they have configured on there. Access switch, club service, console server, core switch, right? Now notice right over here, as soon as you begin assigning your devices to those roles, you can simply click on them like, okay, I've got 20 servers, click on that, bam, takes you right to it, filters based on that role, you can see your filter criteria. And now I can easily see all of the servers that are assigned to that role, both the ones that are offline and the ones that are active. I want, if I wanted to, you know, filter it, more, I could use this over here on the, the right hand side to do that. Or if I want to say, you know, show me, show me the VMs. Notice that they're, they're not, oh man, this is good. So you see the switches, right? Access switch, core switch, distribution switch. So if you want to see what core switches they have, it looks like a couple Juniper switches right here that they've, they've created here. But within that, you can say, well, I see 20 servers, but then I see a whole bunch of VMs. Now, maybe not a whole bunch, but I can take these roles and use them to label my virtual machines. So I can click on that management service. So maybe, you know, they're, they're getting paid to manage these three different uh, 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 VMs or, or they're just categorizing these as like, hey, these are used to manage our other servers. Uh, Netbox is one of those servers, you know, GitLab for, for Git services, right? So you can, you can use those as tags to filter, which allow you to see them visually in the rack. So let's, let's look at their rack over here, right? Click on the headquarters rack and uh, <laughs> they weren't very creative with their color scheme, but, but kind of, you can see right there on the back of the rack, there's the, uh, the switches that they have, both a, a couple storage switches that looks like are assigned to that role and a couple core switches. And then all of these individual servers. Now, when you see it uh, added right here, the, the, the lines is because Nova 9 is a front and back unit. You know what I mean? Where it takes up the entire uh, space, whereas Juniper, and, and we'll see this when we add the devices, you can say that, hey, these only take up the back of the rack, meaning I have space available at the front to add additional devices there, if, if, that's, if that's one of the settings that you choose. So, so at this point, what I want you to do is go in and start thinking about what are the roles? Maybe, maybe you start with, you know, 
routers, switches, servers as just something to get the blood flowing and then be like, okay, virtual machines. Okay, well, what kind of virtual machines? Anything that you would want to be a filter for you is a good role. You know, let me filter by that criteria and that role allows you to assign it, color code it, and filter on it. It's that simple.